Why narcissists ignore your success? They make you seem less important than you really are. They reduce emphasis on your importance, value and strength. Because they're envious and jealous. They might see it as something impressive and attractive but it makes them feel insecure. So they will ignore your success and they will begin to hate you because they know that they're deceiving people. They're unjustifiably claiming and being credited with accomplishments and qualities. They fooled you in the first place. They deceived you through trickery and flattery. So they know they shouldn't even be with you. There's a lot of perks they get from being with you. But they can't compliment you. They can't acknowledge your success. Because then you would start to look at them. You would start to see that they're working more slowly and with less effort than you are. Because they do just enough to manage with difficulty to live or to accomplish something. They do basic support to preserve their condition or situation. So they're not going to contribute anything to sustain a relationship with you. They're going to give you the bare minimum. So you may be brilliant and excellent at something, but they're going to be falling behind. So they cannot compliment you, because otherwise you would start to wonder what you're even doing with them. Because all they do is argue with you. All they do is stress you out. They're not contributing anything of value to your life. So to prevent you from coming to that conclusion, they must question your positivity. They must subdue your shine. They must ignore your success so that it doesn't return to them and you start looking at them and seeing that they're of relatively little significance and they're easy for you to replace so they have to make it seem like you can't do any better they have to make it seem like something is wrong with you Which is why they don't like it when you're too happy or excited about something. They have to devalue you. They have to bring you down. They have to tell you everything they don't like about you. They have to argue with you. And over time they will begin to insult you. They will attack your values and high moral standards. They will humiliate you. They will make you feel ashamed and foolish by injuring your dignity and pride to make you feel like you're not as great as you think you are until you start to believe it, until you start to make yourself appear less important than you really are. You begin to show a modest and low estimate of your importance. You become less proud. Because that's how they want you to be when you're around them. They don't want you to outshine them. You have to bring yourself down. So that they can have the praise and attention and be at a more powerful level above you. They have to make you uncertain of your worth. To get you caught up. To keep you trapped in their web. Because you don't know how valuable you are. So you end up trying to meet the standards and expectations 
of someone who is beneath you. Because they've tricked you into thinking that you need them more than they need you. As though they're useful and valuable to you. But your presence and behaviour puts them at a disadvantage. Because whenever you doubt your qualities and abilities, you give them your power. Whenever they ignore or downplay your success, they're trying to take your place. They're trying to steal your position and make you their subordinate. To make you feel inferior. To make you feel less than who you actually are. Because that's the only way they can have influence and a control over you. If you knew your worth, you wouldn't tolerate it. You would leave very quickly. Because you would recognize it. You would know who you are. They can't acknowledge who you are. Because they're insecure and they lack confidence in themselves. So they have to subdue your shine. They have to target your happiness and contentment. They have to disrupt your peace. Because it's affecting them. So they will downplay your success. They will downplay your qualities and abilities. They will compare you to other people. They're always thinking of ways to antagonize you. Because they get pleasure from it. They enjoy provoking you. They don't mind negative attention. As long as your attention is on them. Because they want you to feel down. They want you to feel like you're not worth anything. When you know you put the work in. You know everything you had to go through to get to where you are. They just don't have good intentions. They don't mean well. They don't have your best interests in mind. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.